Right, so I'm back on, on the piston now, and uh, before I make it back up, because I've got all the seals and everything, and yeah, the first seals I bought, I bought them pretty much expensive because they were brought on order, but now I know where to get my seals cheap, so that won't be a problem for a long time now. But, because there's only, only, every time a but, you can see from this distance a very big hit on the chrome rod here. And this is the part where all the seals go for, for separating the two chambers of the piston. And here is the chrome rod hit. I could just order because the shop that brings seals doesn't bring chrome rod I can order chrome rod but it's kind of expensive and I still got don't got the whole hydraulic systems running and nothing I just want to put the piston back and maybe make I don't know some tests and if all the systems are okay and when I will have the money, I probably buy a new chrome rod for the piston, or I will keep this piston for on something else, and I'll put in the press a bigger cylinder. But you, know, yeah, this is very damaged here, and you can see that it works until here. So this all passed through the seal and broke it. It kind of has a scar on, let me find it, like here, but it's not that of a bigger scar. Anyway, the cylinder need, needs replacement, but I don't want to replace it yet, uh, but I still want to use it. So I thought about, well, what if I don't retract the piston until here? Well. That's a way to do it. I probably could weld a, a thing here or put something in the piston and never let it go more than this point because it what the 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 bottom of the piston is this. So yeah, I could do that and just I will lose this like what inches of chrome rod or 10 centimeters or something but I could just because I want to use this as a press and the piston works just until here I could switch the piston and make this the head the front of the piston and this is the back. I only need to machine some of these, which are dead simple to machine, and that's all. I will then mount my big head for pressing things and not damaging this part, and this part will stay in the head, or I, I can even cut it if I want to. Because the piston, this chrome rod sits inside the piston this far which really doesn't affect my scar at all it doesn't touch it so i'll go on machining that and start re oh yeah i will need to make some threads here also because i need to screw the the head of the cylinder but pretty much that's that's my idea so far let's see how that goes well got the other end machine and you can see the hit here and it's also hit on the other side but yeah anyway this is the now the inside end of the chrome rod of the shaft and it's pretty big amount of stick out but 
as big as this lathe is, it only has a very small spindle as a hole. So, see the spindle back here. Like, it's dead small, but yeah, this is this has some limitations it makes you use extended tools if you want to use a live sender and so on but i won't go into machining shit uh sorry about that but yeah the end of the shaft is machine and dude it was hit so i'll now do the other end and make some threads for this slug of iron yeah alrighty then so I did this end uh, with two o-rings and everything I sit on the other end and the other end now has a screwing Thing, which of course has pretty serious threads well not that much but come on decent thread anyway uh, bottoms out on this part i probably will make a washer too for this something out of soft metal rather soft steel or a bronze of some kind because it doesn't actually reach all the way uh, it's pretty much impossible but this one is quite big the gap here so anyway now I can build up the piston and because this part screws out I don't need to care about the way I do my crap so let me play again with this thread because it's pretty nice. And keep it out here. On this side, we will have those pretty nice on the O rings there. There you go almost flat with this side but it's a bit under which is good up go these two halves let's see how they fit best oh, they are bent on this side so it would be nice if I could press them here but don't think that's gonna happen well yeah we will keep them the way they were though they are bent I think I think they will do their job right uh, screwdriver maybe do the trick again this is a very old hydraulic cylinder so yours might be a bit different or better made or whatever this might not flow like hell here but yeah it really depends on what you have I remember on the other one they were tighter but yeah nothing crucial there as long as this thing is kept in place you can see again the damage here and why I've switched sides of this cylinder anyway it won't be used that much so I don't care anyway Happy that the board is okay. It slipped right away. Uh, I guess this 
is a bit long. Well, that happened. Crap. But yeah, it's that's just how it is. Just need to be careful and not go too far with it. So I, in which case I will hit the wiper. goes somewhere okay this is where the oil will go in to the other chamber to the retract chamber Sounds right. Huh. New seal, new seal here. Wiper, also new here. I don't know what to put in the rod or the wiper, but I guess it's all the same, so it won't matter that much. get the wiper out. Let me put everything in frame. I'm coming with pretty nice rolling here, which I didn't budge to replace. And I would regret it. Damage your wiper. Feel your hand at the beat. Take one. Yeah. Goes in pretty hard. There we go, seal is in, now let's see if we can put it back in its place, I wonder, nah. well, that's a possibility I can hit it with this the other way, because it slides, but
and hopefully it wipes. This came out. I saw that. There we go. More hammer. But yeah, it went in all the way, nice and tight. And like this, it goes one way, it goes the other way. It's kind of short, but one day I'll buy the chrome rod for this if I need to, and probably I will. Uh, I will probably use this as an auxiliary system for something, but for now it's a scrapyard find, it has new seals in it, which is something that this cylinder probably never imagined would happen to him, so one day probably when I buy some more things, I remember, oh! I need some chrome rod for my piston and I will make it if it leaks or if it damages the seals again or something but this is meant for industrial use I use it in a DIY environment so that won't really be a problem thanks for watching and I hope I will blend this in some way that is nice and pleasant to watch. Uh, whatever. If you want to watch something else that's related or probably not, click here. Have a good one. Or whatever. Bye.